so you see here I finished the decreasing of uh, engines and I dropped it inside a turbo smooth now it's time to make this part as you can see the best object to use it for this part is a uh, chamfer box so let me go to create extended primitive and pick a chamfer box but I need to go to back view in the orthographic setting and I pick a chamfer box let me draw it roughly oops Let's do it one, one more time. Maybe I should. Okay. So let me make the length 30, width 37. The height I will leave it to 20, and the fillet value I can raise it up to maybe 5. Fillet segments, I will decrease it to, mm, let me check, yeah, let's make it 1, length segments, make it 11, width 5, and height will be 3, and I need to push him in the middle, yeah, that's it, and of course, needs to be pushed back. And we change its material. To this gray to look like the rest of it. Now let me convert it to editable poly. And like you see here, we have this curving block from this side and not from this side so I need to go to vertex mode select these and push them inward I actually need to hide everything else so hide unselected right click hide unselected let me get back to back view and let me start working on these edges so here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 edges I need to pick the five edges sorry the nine edges four five six seven eight nine and of course we cannot scale edges but we can still scale vertices so I change my selection mode to vertex by using control and use the scale scale these not not very much actually something like this two three four five six seven eight nine actually it's ten I remember that I counted these these were ten so I may go to edge mode add this one and shift uh, scale sorry scale them down okay uh, now I need to get rid of one of these edges or maybe I can make these two edges close as close as I can let me do the same these two and I need to make necessary cuts to get these separations here so I can use a swift loop for this purpose uh, I need to have one here, another one here, 
one here another one in here and this will be the openings now I need to drag this middle group of vertices but I need first to ignore back facing so I won't accidentally select anything I don't need so I select this because I need it to be popped forward like this and I go to left left view and let me push this bit forward uh, deselect these two make another push maybe that's little too much let me take them all like this let me get back to back view okay I think this is as a basic shape is fine for me okay so now I need to make this group of four uh, edges make them look rounded so again I make sure it's ignore back facing is still working and let me pick this group scale it and this group except the one in the middle and scale it so we get this round shape fine okay now I need to go to polygon mode and start selecting these groups but because we have this cut in here uh, I will use the insertion separately for each one of them separately that will take some time but that's better than getting rid of this edge so I will apply the insertion by group for these ones on the left and right side it will be 0 0.2 press ok so when I delete this that's what I get nothing harmful, harmful occurred fine so I will continue to do it with this row and this other row and come back to you so I'm done with this these two groups now for the rest of these pieces we can use insert by polygon not by group so we pick insert same value but we change by polygon ok and delete before we proceed I need to remove this crease right here so let me go to left view or maybe I still on back view and make the selection first I go to vertex mode I make sure ignore back facing is still working now let me select these two rows maybe the whole row so I don't have problems and let me get back the left view and I need slightly to push this back not much so I can have a rounded shape fine so now I need to create few cuts and then continue so I go to swift loop and let me make this cut start with this one and 
this one here because when we drop it inside a turbo smooth we may experience some problems fine now I get back the edge mode and let me select this or these internal edges so you can create some volume with it using shift So I get back the left view and I use shift and drag. This will create some volume for me. See? I have some volume here. I keep my selection. I will change it and I will reselect the new edges, the new loops of edges. So I can chamfer them before applying the uh, turbo smooth. We're almost done. Okay, so while selecting this, I will use chamfer and the value will be 0.1. Let me check if it works fine. Maybe less. Let's make it 0.05. Good. And press OK. Now I need to drop this object inside a turbo smooth and see what we got. See, we got here the shape we want. Of course, we need to raise the iteration and activate isolin display. But we still have this problem here. This looks rounding. You see? So we need to use the swift loop to create cuts. To make everything looks fine but for the rest of the the object it looks great for me except for these loops so i will select the editable body activate show end results and use the swift loop and start creating necessary cuts i will show you a few of them then I will pause and continue on my own. So that's exactly what we need to do. We need to make them look like it used to be.
the problem with swift loop is that it doesn't perfectly work with orthographic view works better with perspective so I will pause the video continue creating these creasing cuts and we'll get back to you so it's done if we select it as a whole object that's what we get we get these creased edges and we won't do more with it so let me unhide everything go to back view and adjust its position I think it's uh, it's good from this view let me check other views it's a little bit flat so let me go to the left view and also graphic select this group of vertices and push them ah, let me make sure ignore back facing is deactivated let me do it again that's it ok so let me drag the whole object put it into its position just right here and we're done that's it for this uh, water pump I hope it was useful for you let me check the initial image I hope you learned something out of it of course you can modify it you can change I, I don't really stick to every thing in the main uh, model I'm creating I like to modify it the way it can look like in real life or maybe in another s specifications uh, order so that's it for this course uh, I'm glad you continued with me until the last video next we will model this beautiful spider mechanical spider it's it wouldn't be hard it would be easier than the water pump because not very uh, too many uh, pieces we have here but it will it will give us better lessons in terms of using bends and these things to make this these parts right here so um, that's it uh, of course I didn't use any shading uh, techniques here not a V-ray, not any shading because uh, this is only a modeling course and the one that follows will be also modeling let me save it modeling course uh, feel free to put your questions if you want to ask for anything but later we will have shading courses separate from this course uh, for now we will continue with the mechanical modeling next uh, group of courses will of modeling also will be animal modeling jewelry modeling we will we will have group different groups of uh, courses for now i'm uploading single video every day because uh, i i want to stick to uh, youtube scheduling system until i finish a large number of the course then i can upload uh, each course per day or maybe per, per week thanks for keeping up with me See you in spider, mechanical spider next.